Something strange happened in Mohenjo-Daro, a once thriving city in ancient Pakistan. Its ruins tell a story that doesn't quite add up. Scattered skeletons, melted structures, and eerie traces of extreme heat. Historians say civilizations fade over time, but what if this one was wiped out in an instant? Some believe an unfathomable force, maybe even an ancient weapon, left behind this silent graveyard. Was it nature's wrath or something far more terrifying? Let's dig into the chilling truth. Something about Mohenjo-Daro just doesn't add up. This wasn't just another ancient city. It was a thriving metropolis, home to tens of thousands of people, built with an eerie level of precision. But then it vanished. No slow decline, no gradual abandonment. One day it was full of life. The next, a ghost town. And here's where things get even stranger. Some of its ruins show signs of extreme heat, hot enough to melt stone. When archaeologists uncovered Mohenjo-Daro in 1922, they found a city ahead of its time. Wide streets, a grid-like layout, advanced drainage systems, everything carefully planned, almost like a modern city blueprint. The bricks were uniform, some weighing over 15 pounds, and the entire city stretched over 300 hectares. But how did people 4,000 years ago achieve this kind of engineering without modern tools? One of the most striking structures is the Great Bath, a massive pool measuring 12 meters long and seven meters wide. Its watertight construction and intricate drainage system suggest it wasn't just a public bath. Maybe it had spiritual or ritual significance. Whatever the case, it proves the people of Mohenjo-Daro understood architecture and water management on a level we still marvel at today. But here's where the mystery deepens. Some of the ruins show signs of vitrification, stone melted into glass, a process requiring temperatures far beyond what normal fires could reach. The only known natural causes of this phenomenon are volcanic eruptions or meteor impacts, but there's no evidence of either. Some researchers have even compared this effect to nuclear explosions. Could it be that an ancient force, something lost to time, unleashed unimaginable destruction here? Then there are the skeletons, over 40 of them, lying in the streets as if death came suddenly. No signs of violent injury, no weapons or defenses, just people frozen in time. Some were found clutching one another, others in positions that suggest they were trying to flee. If it were a war, where are the weapons? If it were a natural disaster, why do the bodies seem untouched rather than crushed or burned? And then there's the question of the materials. The massive stones used to build parts of Mohenjo-Daro didn't come from the area. They were transported from quarries over 300 kilometers away. Without modern machinery, how did they do it? The same question lingers over other ancient sites, the pyramids of Egypt, the megalithic structures of South America. Did these civilizations know something we don't? Some say Mohenjo-Daro fell to war or environmental collapse. Others believe a natural disaster wiped it out. But those melted ruins, those scattered skeletons, they whisper of something far stranger, something we might not be ready to understand. Another fascinating question comes up when we look at the precision of Mohenjo-Daro's layout. A city built over 4,000 years ago, yet its streets are laid out in perfect grids, its drainage systems more advanced than some modern cities. How did an ancient civilization with no modern surveying tools pull this off? The level of planning seems too advanced for its time, almost like they had knowledge that didn't belong to them. Some researchers suggest an influence from a lost civilization, one far more advanced than we know. And then there are those who take it a step further, pointing to eerie similarities between Mohenjo-Daro and other mysterious ancient sites around the world. Could it be possible that an otherworldly force played a role? But what really shakes things up is the way this thriving city met its end. Some blame the nearby Indus River, claiming flooding could have forced its inhabitants to leave. But there's a darker theory, one that raises more questions than answers. Scattered across Mohenjo-Daro are ruins that show signs of extreme heat. So intense that some of the stone structures have been vitrified, melted into glass. That kind of heat doesn't come from a simple fire or even a volcanic eruption. Something catastrophic happened here. Something powerful enough to erase a civilization from history. And this isn't just about one city. The Indus Valley civilization was massive, 
stretching across what is now Pakistan, India, and Afghanistan. Despite being one of the world's earliest urban cultures, we know almost nothing about them. Their language, still undeciphered, their beliefs, a mystery, and their sudden disappearance, one of history's biggest puzzles. Archaeologists have uncovered everyday items, pottery, tools, jewelry, but some discoveries defy explanation. The most famous is a bronze statuette known as the Dancing Girl. It's small, only about four inches tall, but the level of artistry is stunning. The girl stands confidently hand on her hip, as if frozen mid-dance. Who was she? Was she a performer? A deity? A symbol of something lost to time? And then there's the most controversial theory of all, the possibility of an ancient nuclear catastrophe. At first glance, it sounds impossible. A nuclear explosion over 4,000 years ago? But the evidence of vitrified ruins suggests temperatures that should not have been achievable with ancient technology. In the 1970s, a physicist posed an unsettling question. When asked if the first nuclear explosion happened in 1945, Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, simply replied, well, yes, in modern times. Was he hinting at something buried in history? The eerie part is how the bodies were found. Unlike sites of war or natural disaster, where remains are scattered or buried under rubble, the skeletons in Mohenjo-Daro were found lying in the streets, untouched, undisturbed, as if they had collapsed where they stood. No weapons, no defensive wounds, no signs of battle, just people who seemed to drop dead in an instant. Even stranger, radiation levels detected in the area were unusually high. Not enough to confirm an explosion, but enough to raise eyebrows. Could this have been some kind of ancient experiment gone wrong? A war between civilizations wielding lost technology? Or was it something far beyond our understanding? The entire Indus Valley civilization, once one of the most advanced societies of its time, began to unravel. By 1800 BCE, its great cities, Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, had faded into history. Harappa, the first city of this civilization to be discovered in modern times, even gave its name to the people of the Indus Valley. Archaeological findings show a slow collapse. Trade with Mesopotamia, once a key partner, had stopped completely. Their once impressive drainage systems were left clogged and neglected. Writing disappeared, and their system of standardized weights and measures, used for trade and taxation, fell out of use. It was as if the very foundation of their civilization had been ripped away. So what caused this downfall? Scholars have thrown around a few theories. Some point to climate change, monsoons becoming too intense, making the land unlivable. Others suggest a massive drought that drained their resources. And the most debated theory of all, the idea of an invasion. In the 1940s, British archeologist Mortimer Wheeler suggested that an Indo-European tribe, the Aryans, stormed into the Indus Valley and wiped out the peaceful Harappan people. According to Wheeler, the unburied skeletons found in Mohenjo-Daro were evidence of a massacre. The Aryans, armed with horses and more advanced weapons, could have easily overpowered the city's inhabitants. For a time, this theory was widely accepted. But then, new evidence started poking holes in it. Other scholars pointed out that the skeletons weren't necessarily victims of war. Some of them showed signs of hasty burials, not battlefield deaths. And as researchers dug deeper, they found no signs of large-scale destruction, no burned buildings, no mass graves of slaughtered civilians. Even Wheeler himself eventually admitted that his theory couldn't be proven. Some even argued that the invasion theory was politically motivated. It was put forward at a time when India was still under British colonial rule, and some believe it was used to justify British dominance by implying that history had already seen one wave of foreign conquest. So where does that leave us? The mystery of Mohenjo-Daro remains unsolved. Was it a natural disaster? A climate shift? A war that left no trace? Or was it something far more extraordinary? Something history has buried so deep we may never truly understand it? Tell us about your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one.